Welcome back. I'm Katie Beth and I tell it plain and simple. Today we're talking about cryptocurrency. So why do so many have confidence in the future of crypto? There's a few great reasons and these reasons are shared by people much brighter than I am. I'll, I'll explain and I'll start with the most potent reason and that is generational changes. Consider this. A baby boomer and their predecessor, those born in what they call the silent generation, as they pass away, so think about people between 60 years old and well into their 90s. Well, as they do pass away, it is their Generation X and millennial heirs that will inherit their accumulated wealth. Those heirs likely won't put their investments in antiquated banks and stocks. They think differently. These younger generations, especially millennials and the Gen Z that come right after them, they are accustomed to all things digital. Their investment strategies use PancakeSwap and Robinhood and always digital. So these digital heirs are comfortable because they grew up with computers. They had computers in school. That's how they did their homework and turned in their papers. Even their college textbooks were online. They had computers at home. They grew up on video games and cable and the internet. And even in their youth, cell phones were common. They never known a world without cell phones. Their lives are digital. They even meet their mates and spouses online. It's a $3 billion industry. So these generations are unarguably comfortable with technology. They have a digital life. In fact, if you think about Gen Alpha, those under 10 years old, and maybe some of the youngest millennials, they will likely never interact with paper coin or money in their adulthoods. Gen X's were not alive when the US dollar was backed by gold, right? President Johnson changed that in 1968 and took us away from the gold standard. They've never known anything different than what we have today. So digital currency does not have a stigma for them. They're likely more distrusting of manual investments and processes with money because humans are error prone, but technology isn't. Today, they can write a grammatically perfect letter, essays, uh, papers with chat GPT. And humans, even the best English teacher though, they will still make mistakes. So digital is more accurate. Another reason is globalization. It's not just American young adults and kids that are comfortable with technology, or dare I say, expecting everything digitally enabled. It's other countries too, and some of them even more so than the US. A friend of mine, an exec of 40 something, who just got back from vacation in Australia, shared that even tips, $2 tips, were Bluetooth enabled. He, he never had more than, he only took $50 of cash. So here's the reality. Cash is becoming outdated and there are alternatives to our current banking systems. That's also why the banks and brokerage firms and very reputable financial institutions are applying for digital licenses. BlackRock applied just a few weeks ago. You only have to think about Kodak or Blockbuster to bring to mind what happens to businesses that are not embracing inevitable changes. Now you may say, well, what about all the articles from late 2022, like the CNBC airing in the fall that said millennials are less confident in cryptocurrency today than they were in 21? Okay, well, that's PETA, P-I-T-A, a point in time assessment. Yes, confidence in crypto does vacillate. Theirs does, everyone's does. At one time or another, confidence rises and falls in most things, not just crypto. As you can imagine, their confidence surges or plunges with the market cap or value of tokens. But play the long game. They are playing the long game. Digital is inevitable. I'll say this again. Digital everything is inevitable. Here's another point. And there's not a lot of financial advice that is near uncontroversial, but this is one piece. Young people should take more risk when they invest, so think about millennials and, and that generation. And you should get more conservative with your investments as you approach retirement, the baby boomers and Gen X. So these young generations, uh, their confidence may wane and wax, but overall they're much more comfortable taking risks. 
And for those that are not comfortable taking risk, think of crypto as diversifying your portfolio. There's only a 0.15 correlation of the movement of crypto values with the stock market. That means the two do not go up and down together, but they change in value irrespective of the value changes of the other. And what is diversification if not just that? So that is why many believe crypto is here to stay. Now, the government may go after crypto, but heck, they once outlawed alcohol. <laughs> How well did that go? So I've given you the reasons crypto is permanent and here to stay, but what about timing? There is a window open right now, a chance for anyone to amass crypto before prices likely rise in 10 to 12 months. Now that's a very specific time frame, and I'll give you the logic behind that. There is a California investor, a hedge fund manager, and he writes in Bitcoin Magazine. His name's Mark Goodwin. He's the creator and CEO of PIN Project and the co-founder of Art Pink. He posits that Bitcoin right now is undervalued. He, remod he modernized the bull and bear market concepts into four seasons for crypto, much like a year has, right? And he offers right now we're in the spring season. So what is that? Well, that's when Bitcoin value is stable, prices relatively flat, dormant, not a lot of change. Then comes summer, and this is the beginning of increasing prices where demand drives up price. Autumn is the season when Bitcoin bursts to its peak price and then the subsequent cooling off of the price. Then it's winter, a slow and gradual decline until dormant again in spring. So if Mark Goodwin is right and we are in spring, there's limited time to gather crypto assets before the hike of summer and the peak of autumn. I can tell you we are in a buying mode and you might want to be too, but this is not financial advice. Well, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more crypto intel. I'm Katie Beth. I told it plain and simple. Thank you.